I want to start with the jazz poem. It's uh, an elegy for a Thelonious Monk, who's a technician of silence and rhythm. Uh, the silence in his music reminds me of what's left out in a poem. Um, actually, uh, Yusuf Komunyaka uh, says that monk's music requires someone who does not need to be told the whole story. And I thought the same can be said. The same thing can be said of poetry. And um, I try to see. I try to uh, see if I can take that approach in this poem. The um, the po the title uh, it's uh, a nightclub in Harlem at Minton's Monk. I saw him walk the plot of dead earth, ground churning under his toes, his coat flap open to the black slap of the cold. I saw him lose himself in the ear of a saxophone, piano keys tucked in dust, blue bass tone of night, my eyes locked down on his hands, wrinkled into the streets of a city map, headlights of cars mumbling up and down the flat boulevards, machinery of cable cars blinking crisscrossing under the half moons of his fingernails, yellow and cracked, on the wet dirt in the pockets of his mouth. There, I came back many nights to hear him play the architecture of the rain, rhythm of strange colored lights and their geometry. Tap, hands flat, the brass and topography of the metropolis. Thank you. Um, this poem introduces me as a, as a young poet, a poet at a young age, um, and I consider this experience to be very essential in the creation of my poetic consciousness. It came out of a conversation I had with uh, my first poetry teacher, uh, Susan Lamas. I'm sure, I'm sure that, sound, that name sounds familiar. Um, I don't have to. I, I don't think I have to uh, explain who Susan Lamas is. Uh, she called me up to. Well, she's anyway. She's the director of the Poetry LA Festival. Just in case. <laughs> um, she called me up uh, to invite me to a reading at a at the Central Library in downtown LA. Uh, um, and uh, she asked me, how did poetry come to you? And I was stunned. I didn't know what to say. I think it was like silent for a minute or so on the, on the, on the phone. And then it, eventually I began to talk and um, I, this poem came out. Um, I mean, not in, it, it didn't come out in lines the way it's written, but, but I, I, when I got home that night, um, I started to work on this poem. Uh, the opening lines are from Neruda's, one of Neruda's love poems. Radio. Puedo escribir los versos más tristes esta noche. Escribir, por ejemplo, La noche está estrellada. That was Neruda, through a small plastic portable, blue with white knobs, when I was 10. And mother woke me to listen by the red needle of the dial, its window throwing a half yellow light in the bedroom, his boys reaching the darkest corner of the house. Words full of rain, ancient, from a foreign planet, lapping at my bedside. Fat waves rocking against the boat, pro ripping through the waters, a sound like the whoosh of pine trees bending. 
The set was big enough for the rustic gun mother hid inside, right above the batteries, a piece ready to target soldiers on rooftops, camouflaging the dawn, or the man of tattered clothes, tired eyes, rifles in their hands, running down coffee mountain to palace wall. The poems kept coming, calm, relaxed, as if walking back from a lake, the rise and fall of waves closing over each other, ignorant of my father on the phone, calling long distance from Los Angeles, his voice a buzz and a click, clipped by the blackouts of a tiny country. Who knows what kept my father in the north? Perhaps it was the city lights of a woman, long snouts of avenues clutching their tongues, unrolling the drunken dollar flat on his hand. Perhaps it was the vertebrae of broken bodies cut in the gutter. Who knows if he knew that the wind flew around the house howling like a dog, that his wife came to bed as if rejected by the moon once again. Radio in the crook of her arm, tuned to the dark shade of pines. Lento juego de luces, campana solitaria. I lay in bed, my mother's breath lost deep in the absence of her husband. My ears wide open to the darkness, listening to the lines of a faint voice crackle and glow. A radio that enters evening like a boatman standing in the mist feeling waves roll underneath pulling me through the slow nights of a small war thank you and thank you for coming